Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Um, I've been having a great day. I've been playing around in Art Rage, playing around, experimenting, uh, not playing, never playing, experimenting in Art Rage. And um, recently I did a, a painting with palette knives and I've kind of taken that a little bit further and explored the palette knives a little bit more, added another palette knife to the mix. So that's a little bit later on, so you're gonna to have to watch quite a way through the video. Watch me use uh, my new secret weapon uh, in the uh, palette knife department. So let's just get straight into the video. I fancy painting in Art Rage today, and I think I'm really in the mood for doing some really thick, juicy paint. So I'm gonna work with the palette knife and the uh, tubes of paint just those two tools see what i can come up with see if i can avoid um <clears throat> using any brushes at all this is the scene i'm going to paint see special k there kneeling down with the camera capturing that dynamic shot for her artwork i'm going to pop that out of the way i've got a square canvas it's approximately five thousand pixels squared so it's a decent size canvas uh, just move everything around a little bit I just imported the image by dragging it from my uh, Explorer window or folder onto the art rage package and it says do you want to open it as a reference image or uh, for tracing so I opened it as a reference image uh, colors let's have a think about the color I'm going to keep a white canvas to start with because I'm going to get loads of thick paint and just block everything out um, and I might start with some tubes of paint, I'm thinking. And that's just sort of darker than that. Let's just squeeze some paint onto that canvas for this tree. I like that blue I've got in there as well. Let's sort of uh, bring that across. Uh, this is going to just squeeze everywhere when I start uh, using the palette knife. I've never done a tree this way before, I have to say. Let's get some uh, sort of a yellow green, put that down the side of the tree there, and they're like that. Just sort of getting it all set up, really. Um, Just, I just love experimenting and trying different things. Uh, let's, let's get a smaller tube. Let's get a 35 mil tube out. Uh, obviously, I'm not really using tubes of paint. I'm using my um, shift key and square brackets to size up this uh, brush. Or the, the tubes of paint. Boom. Got a big long one in there. Get a bit bigger. Why is it? Oh, trying to make it smaller. That's better. Uh, get a lime green again. A little bit of them uh, in there. God knows what this is going to come out like. I'm very excited to see. Oh, it's old key, isn't it? In Art Rage, I, I think, yeah. Alt key to pick a colour up. Tubes of paint, loving it. I squeeze some tubes of paint in there. It's got that sort of bluey colour for the grass. Oh man. I do like Art Rage for I don't think um, any of the other apps do this thick paint with tubes of paint at all. Um, shall I start smearing it around a bit? Um, 
Can you imagine how much paint this would cost if I was using real paint? It doesn't bear thinking about, does it? Right, let's swap the tools. So I'm using the knife tool. There we go. I've selected the knife and I am going to use the first preset, which is um, it's called the flat, flat knife. And I won't put any uh, paint on it just to start with because I'm just going to smear this tubes of paint out been a while since I did a, a, a tube of paint painting but I'm going to um, use apply some paint as well with the, with just the knife might do it on a separate layer It really does look thick, doesn't it? Lovely, thick and juicy. knife a bit smaller and I, I'm going to refine these these branches but I need some sort of background color going in here we could have sort of a dark green Let's let's apply some paint now. I'm going up with the load in, and then I can just whack some paint in the middle. I'm just wondering if I would have, it might have helped if I'd have um, put a colour on the background. Might go back and do that. It's some blue in sky color here. Then pick this um, green up. Not looking much yet, I know. You gotta bear with me. This is just experimenting. Just sort of getting everything covered. I, I like to get everything covered before I start really looking close at the painting because all of this white space is just gonna um, confuse me when it comes to um, lights and darks, tonal contrast, that kind of thing. See, that would have looked quite funky if I'd have uh, toned the background. <clears throat> so I'm still using the palette knife. I'm not, um, I've gone off the tubes of paint a bit let's just zoom in and see look at the lovely thick brush strokes we get in and what the all the effects and the textures you get 
and this is just with default brushes you know i've made a set of watercolor brushes in the past and i barely use them i just like i just like using the default ones we've got some blue coming in i'm going to create a new layer in a minute once i've got everything on start thinking again if i if i swap to this knife and get more sort of flicks i, I like this flat one i have to say Trying to scoop to that a little bit. Bit on light pressure. Cutting that tree out of there. Got my finger permanently on the control key. Just so I can keep picking colours off the canvas. Uh, that sort of ready colour up here. I've almost lost all the branches that I started with. Let's put up a bit of. Uh, I guess if I, I could sort of do some vertical strokes to get the impression of all the trees I need to go through there. Let the brush a bit smaller. I'm so tempted to um, get a paintbrush, but I don't want to. I could go back to the tubes of paint though and have a really thin almost like I put the paint in a icing thing just to uh, squeeze some paint out of there like that. Control key. Actually, I say control key. I'm. I've been telling you wrong. It's the alt key you want for um, colors, picking the colors in Art Rage. Do you find them very confusing at times? Let's just whack that in there. Put some down there. I might even just squeeze the paint out, you know, for the branches and, and leave it like that. Right, I'm going to go back to the palette knife. I'm going to use this um, second one. It says it's edge and the third one's soft. I don't want soft. I want to keep it nice and sharp. So let's take the loading off. Just smear that. 
it's got auto clean on. Do I need auto clean? Doesn't seem to, if I zoom in, it doesn't seem to be doing a lot. This, this brush, this palette knife. Does if I go horizontally, but it's not smearing it out much. Let's try the flat one again. Oh, that's a lot better. Let's stick with that flat one. I'm going to put these in and, uh, and then paint the trees in that are in front of them after. Right, let's create a new layer. <clears throat> that way I can get some nice clean dark paint in there. Probably not too dark actually. Oh, I need to load the brush up again. Or load, put some paint on the palette knife, as it were. That's nice. That's about the uh, texture I want. Just vary it a bit. It's not all the same. And this is going on nice because it's not. Um, it's not blending in with the paint underneath it's actually being applied over the top it's like everything else is dry alt key for color picker not uh, control key like I said previously them in there like that I think these trees are looking better now the only thing is they're all looking a bit symmetrical aren't they and all a little bit the same so I think I'm going to need to um, change this a bit just rub this one out on this top layer I think if we just change this one, we'll be all right. Just taking that out. Go back to the layer underneath. Pick that green. Just, I just want to push it in there a little bit. Right now I can paint it back in again. This time I want it to be Let's do it with a tube. I kind of want it to go more at an angle like that. That's it. It just sort of breaks up that um, line of soldiers type thing. Let's put another tree in there as well. That's good. <clears throat> Back to me, palette knife. And it should remember where you were previously. Now, don't forget, I'm working on the initial layer so now go back to that top layer alt key pick up the color of the tree so i'm sort of working with that same color keeping all the shadows as best as i can on the right hand side left hand side sorry can't tell me left from me right let's paint in so it's, it's it seems to me that once you've got color on it becomes very difficult to keep applying more color with the palette knife but if you create a new layer then then you can it, it's um it seems to apply the paint uh, much easier 
do some horizontal strokes into that tree like that a little bit there as well a few grasses in here um i want to water clean on this that's what was going off down here that's why it wasn't uh looking exactly as i wanted it so every time i, I think right hang on a minute it's not happening the color's not being a place see look at that because there's no wet paint underneath it i'm getting this nice layer of light there Cool. I could probably make it very thin as well. Yeah, see what's happening. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, pick this color up again. this one this blue let's create a new layer i think that's the secret to getting those nice sharp edges i think what i'm going to end up doing here is um creating lots and lots of uh layers and then just blending them down Uh, merging them down sorry so for example i can merge that with the layer below merge that with the layer below and the next one too so I'm now back to one layer and i can create another new layer and i'm thinking you know what steve maybe we should save this i haven't saved it yet not too bad though i mean it usually it takes me a lot longer before i think about saving anything let's save the painting so i forgot to record a, a little bit so, uh, unfortunately so this is where i'm at now i've just been sort of over painting with the palette knives and then keep merging the layers down so i'm luckily enough i've managed to get back in here because this is where i'm going to start thinking about putting a little bit of detail in so I've got my, uh, let's see, square or flat palette knife loaded up. Let's not load it to the max. And uh, I want to start thinking about putting some highlights in. like this just lifting that tree a bit there you go maybe on that branch there this one here hmm that needs to come a bit more green. Just bring that around here a bit. Yeah, that's it. I'm not so sure about this one. Though. Just lose that a bit. Let's take it out i can rub it out because it's on a different layer i can pick this color up again Put it back in if i want and this here be the same with this actually just take that out a bit and just put them shadows back in the tree the branches are creating these shadows so that's quite cool I like that it'd be a, a shadow down there so i'm just lifting out color now we 
there we go. So I guess, like what I'm, what I'm doing, I've got my Wacom stylus and I'm just pulling it through the paint and it'll be just the same as pulling a, um, the handle of a paintbrush through, through the paint. Let's get a darker colour, just put a few more flakes. A common mistake would be to like put them all in at the same colour and same uh, tonal values. Off there like that, and I can just tidy it up with the handle of the brush or the handle of my Wacom stylus. Oops. Take that up there, right to the top. So yeah, that's cool. Add a bit of firm. Shadow, shadow side. Uh, lift up this sort of nice warm color, it just School around the tree a bit with it. Both sides. Get that even warmer colour. Pop some of that in it so it doesn't look too flat. I'm liking that. That sort of highlights that tree. Now we've got in the foreground, we've got this sort of um, trench just plowed into the soil. It's not a shadow. It's, um, I guess we're a tractor or something's just really dug into that. Maybe I should use a tube of paint to get some real thick texture on here. And then use the knife to spread it out a bit. But I just think that takes your eye into, into that quite nice. Get the palette knife again. Spread it out. Maybe lift that colour up there. Put a few just where the light's catching it. There and there. So I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Right, I need to get myself a really like the edge of the palette knife, some dark colour, and I just want to sort of flick in a few. Oh, that's too much. I'm, I may have to succumb. Use a brush. I don't want to. I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh, 
knife edge tail like that oh perfect knife edge tail so i can just sort of flick in some finer branches yes and it pulls the other color out as well it's even better uh, let's get some branches off this tree uh, you going up there Maybe some coming off this one. Change the color a bit. Light ones in. Yeah, that this brush has made all the difference, made a massive difference. I don't like what I've done there. Let's just undo that little bit. Maybe a few lighter ones as well, where the light's sort of um, catching. I might need to make a new layer for that. Um, I need to get the colour though, the colour up, there we go. Let's see. Like that. too much that and the brush a bit bigger see what we get I just think this bit is a bit thin and spindly that, that was all um, so let's try again no I don't think that's adding anything to it, to be honest. I like the idea, but um, what was it? Knife edge, put the pressure up. Knife edge tail, that's the brush I want. Do what the flat does. Oh, perfect. Use the flat one.
try again. That's better. I like the colour I've got as well there. There we go. Put in another dark branch in here. Yes, I'm feeling it now. That's come way too out far. Let's just get rid of that. That was just too much, man. Yeah, put that tree in there. I think I'm there. I think I'm, I just need to sign it. There we go. Oh, a little bit smaller. So, thick paint using tubes of paint, palette knives, the knife edge tail. Awesome for getting the thin strokes in, which I hadn't played around with before. And then the knife brush. So, those three tools really gradually finding me way uh i mean i've been doing the, the tubes of paint stuff for ages but i'm gradually feel like i'm um finding my way around the palette knives but much better now so there we are nice little woodland scene hope you've enjoyed this video if you have a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing I've got loads of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them all with you. So don't forget everybody, stay safe, stay sane and keep painting. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.